peace and light everyone it's your girl c i just want to come on here with a video on symptoms of spiritual ascension uh and spiritual descension and what are they right so um symptoms of spiritual ascension is like when your spirit does a, a growth and i don't want to necessarily say dissension and it's it's lowering its vibration it means that you are having a hard time acclimating the new information and the new growth that you're needing to apply to your soul so it's it's not necessarily like going down um it's just kind of finding a new normal just like everybody else in america in the world you know we're all finding a new sense of normal so um that might come off uncomfortable so just for the sake of the video and you know like this <laughs> i'm just gonna say spiritual ascension and spiritual descension and this is the vibration of the spirit and what you are um, calling in what you're doing so i'm gonna go over these uh and these are the symptoms of spiritual ascension spiritual ascension is meaning that you are feeling this this rise of energy this power um and just having more inner peace uh, coming along. So uh, the first one I'd like to talk about is having an increased awareness of consciousness, um, intuition, empathy, uh, just really connecting to other people, you know, connecting to other people in a different way uh, that you have never connected to them. And that's okay. You're allowed to feel uh, a sense of empathy. Um, if you find your intuition, uh, you know, doing these little snap crackle pops that's putting you in a position to know that it works so that should be the exciting part it should never be like oh my god what am i thinking it should be like wow okay okay i could do it i could do it so that's the energy that you should be taking on when that comes up because i know a lot of people have a lot of issue with like having a fear about things and making things like oh i don't understand because the thing is, is we fear what we don't understand and if you don't understand your own tuition you're going to be afraid of it so have no fear your girl's here i'm about to tell you more so um feeling drawn more so to nature this is something that i personally have been experiencing extremely um strongly you know like probably within the last five years but really strongly within the past two um connecting to nature is listening to your mother's breath and i say it that way in the sense of you are connected to the earth and the earth has a frequency and listening to your mother speak to you mother you know breathe for you um you know your your body thrives on what mother nature creates so of course you're going to feel more connected because you have full and stronger understanding of how that comes through. So I love that. Um, being connected to nature, there's like this essence that happens when you are connected to nature. It's like more of a, like a forgiveness, you know, of, of you know, things that don't matter. You know, it's seeing things grow and understanding that everybody has a growth you know cycle you know so for instance if you plant something one day you know and you plant two plants in the same day and you water one and then you you know i don't know you fertilize the other and then you only water one and then you only fertilize the other one of them is gonna ha they're gonna have different growth periods what's gonna happen you know, so that's just like people. That's just like people understanding that we all grow at different times. It's good for us to acknowledge the similarities between nature and people. And just finding that we're all living organisms within this cosmos of reality, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, I would say the, the next one is really a tough one and this one is definitely one I, I I catch a lot of flack for myself but I think it's a positive thing is you have an aversion 
to negativity and drama. You don't want to talk about people. It's pointless. And if you do have something to say about somebody, you share it with them. You share it with them in the sense that it's okay to express uh, under, like you're not you're not happy with the behavior or the the connection or you know. But it's about being authentic enough to say, I don't like that, and I don't like the way that you're treating so and so because I'm watching you do it. What happens is you just feel like this person doesn't fit in my reality anymore because with them comes drama, with them comes negativity. And you kind of you just don't wanna have that around anymore. And it's okay, it's okay when you don't feel that, you know, but it's up to you to kind of live in your authenticity. And that kind of leads me to the aspect of having an enhanced authenticity. That's another point that I'd like to make is when, you know, you have this spiritual ascension, you don't care what anybody has to say about the way you're behaving. Is you don't care, you know, and you can identify within your own spirit, how and what your mission is. So whatever anybody says, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And you know what? One of my favorite sayings that I've ever heard is other people's opinions of you are really none of your business. I love that because people could say what they want to say all day. It's none of my business. They're entitled to their opinion, you know? And I'm sure if I heard the things that people might have said about me or, you know, felt about me, my feelings would probably be hurt for a moment. But the thing is, I know who I am. So an enhanced sense of authenticity happens with that. And it's something you can't turn away from. So, um, yeah, I think that believing in all life also is a big one. Be believing in all life being sacred. And I'm not going into the whole Black Lives Matter because I said all life. But um, it's not going to be all lives versus black lives. Not, I'm not getting in that. All lives, all organisms, everything that shares the same realm of existence with you, um, like, you know, the birds, the bees, the trees, you know, like whatever, you know, is growing here within this plane, within this 3D realm of existence, uh, the littlest tiny creepy crawling bug, you give, you give, like whether or not it's there or it's not, you know, like if you find yourself escorting out spiders outside or, you know, if you see, you know, a, a bug or if you see a mouse or something like that and, and your first instinct is to save it and bring it outside instead of kill it, you are having a spiritual ascension process happening for you. And that's beautiful because you are valuing the sense of life. And I think that a huge part of why we are in the positions that we are is because we often, well, not often, but like all the time for generations upon generations, we have gotten into the space of thinking that we are better because we are bigger or we are smarter or, you know, but the thing is, is like, as silly as this might sound, like that little ant might have had an ant family and you killed it, you know? Like, I think that, I think about stuff like that all the time, like, damn, you know, like that's something that I have the authority to do, but I shouldn't, you know, because it's, it's something that is unnecessary. Now, I'm not saying for you to, you know, kiss a jellyfish or something crazy. Like, I'm not saying that, like, I'm saying, you know, take the time to acknowledge the beauty of of all of God's creatures and acknowledging that they're all sacred is a very powerful um, position to have when you are having the spiritual ascension process because once you honor the sense of the unity, you could come back as anything. Like, and I, I'm talking about reincarnation. So 
be nice to those flies, you might become one. <laughs> um, you know, and I have a few, I keep looking down because I have like the crappiest memory, so I wrote it down for myself. But um, yeah, so, oh, this is one that I'm experiencing actually, now that I see it, I have it written down here like this, but the desire for community. And um, a lot of people, like I, I happen to say all the time, like I don't have no friends and is intentional and that's true. Um, I don't have friends, but I want community. I want family. I want, you know, like people that I can really rely and trust in. If I can't rely and trust in you, then you have no reason or space or, or position in my, my life. So um, having a sense of community, uh, wanting to build for something, a greater good, a, a bigger purpose. Um, I have a community of students and mentees that I really find close to me that I take the initial, you know, like, hey, let's build, let's let's talk together. Hey, let me introduce you to so-and-so. Um, because the thing is, there's no competition in that. It's about really building authentic communities so you can be of support on your mission. And um, that's what, you know, opening that up is about, you know. Um, having a consciousness renewal um, is another one. Like, so, you know, having a feeling of like, wow, I understand. And wow, I don't understand. That's completely normal when it comes to having a spiritual awakening. So if you have like, um, I don't know exactly what you would call it, like those moments that you kind of have a awareness and then it goes away, um, like a mirage of, of a moment, you know, something like that. Yeah, that's, that's real stuff. Like that's a real spiritual awakening. So be aware of those moments and, and try to journal them and write them down. Um, being in the moment and not rushing towards something that's, you know, happening. That's another great thing to take on and just being present because, you know, one of the oldest sayings is if you are stressed, you're thinking about the future. If you're depressed, you're thinking about the past. But if you're in peace, you're in the present, right? So just staying in the moment is the healing medicine that you've been asking for and um so those are those are basically the ones for uh the positive the spiritual ascension um but these are the descension um you know aspects and like i said these are not necessarily negative it doesn't mean that your soul is paralleling to hell or anything crazy it just means that you are having a hard time acclimating the process of integrating within your reality to bring about change, bring about healing, bring about, you know, all the things that you've asked for. So the first thing I find personally is waves of emotion. So waves of emotion are not necessarily bad, but it is something that needs to have an awareness and um, understand how to push yourself forward or how to move through emotions and you shouldn't get stuck in any one emotion. You shouldn't be stuck in happiness constantly. That's that's unrealistic. And if you shouldn't be definitely stuck in sadness because it could only bring your spirit and your vibration lower. Um, so it's good to understand that you have to kind of ride the scale both ways. Um, I would say Amp the amplification process. So amplification process is a whole different thing. Um, so if you find uh, that you can see clearer, if you can taste stronger, if your sense of smell is really keen, all of a sudden your sense of hearing, that means that your senses are awakening, right? But be very mindful and watch out to see if any other senses seem to dim a bit so you know if your sense of intuition opens up you might want to get your eyes checked if you you know have certain gifts because the human body is you know is awesome i love it it's, it's great right but the thing is, is it's not really physically made 
to utilize all of our senses all the time all you know so it's one is going to kind of um fall a bit shorter if you have to implement a new you know sixth sense that you're utilizing on a daily basis so it's good that you acknowledge what it is uh there um the amplification process again is like you know you're you might be hearing tones you might be you know feeling certain vibrations under your feet um as you walk or you you know there's so many different pieces to that um but the amplification process is definitely like a process of understanding uh yourself you know in your own physical body so that's something that you have to kind of be aware of how your body manifests and, and works in the world prior to having a spiritual awakening so if you anticipate having a spiritual awakening and you really want one i would really look into how you are currently to see if there's any physical changes that happen during the intentional movement that you're trying to take with yourself um so food intolerances are another one food intolerances are definitely a dissension symptom um but it's not necessarily a negative thing like i said that just means that your body is acclimating and it's having a harder time so um when i tend to i know for myself and i can only speak for myself but when i tend to um be having an awakening of some sort i tend to get like an eczema patch or you know like um one time i was eating cornbread now i've eaten cornbread my entire life and um i was holding back something i was like holding back like i wasn't speaking about something that i wanted to talk about um and i was eating it and all of a sudden like i said i've eaten it my whole life my tongue blew up and my tongue was like oh my god like food intolerance like i haven't had it since and i was like that was very strange because i've never had this but you know what there was a lot to come with that and i needed to be quiet in that time there was definitely like i wanted to express things but it wasn't time for me to share so that's what i'm saying it's like food will kind of act as a reactor if you you are not listening to your body so that's important to remember because that shit was not fun um so vivid dreaming um a lot of people think that one's a good one i don't necessarily i always put it on the dissension because the thing is is the dissension aspect of having the dreams dreams are like super intense and dreams if you're not feeling rested enough at night to dream like to sleep peacefully and you have vivid dreams that are keeping you up that's not necessarily a healthy thing you should be getting a full and i'm saying this six to eight hours um even though myself i only get four and i that's not any fault of my own that's actually because i i really try not available to me at the moment but when i do get the chance to sleep i will sleep eight hours flat 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 so definitely get your your rest on um you know and if you can you know keep a dream journal because your dream journals are going to be very helpful um another thing and this is just like a family for a family folklore of the ramapo lenape tribe my tribe uh don't tell your dreams before breakfast so if you wake up in the morning and uh you have a dream you really want to discuss it don't tell anybody don't tell anybody not even your journal until you've eaten something to ground that energy so you are not spinning out of control so um then you eat your breakfast and then if it's still on your mind if you still feel it and if you still it's still on your heart then it's worthy to be shared that's what I, that's the way i've always been taught to you know work in that way so i extend that to you guys um so introspection you know like obviously having a sense of solitude um definitely get that checked if you are fearful of other people or if you're feeling a sense of sadness in introspection um you know there's like for myself i could say like 
I am a very extroverted person. I love to talk and to gain perspective and communicate, but I'm very introspective um, and introverted at times too. So um, I could kind of move back and forth, but if you are you know, usually an extroverted person and you all of a sudden do not want to connect to others, that's definitely something that you should look at. Um, electronical devices. This one is kind of funny because you could totally, totally not know this is going on. So if you tend to walk in a room and lights flicker or there's flickering of lights or if, you know, if your radio seems weird and fuzzy all of a sudden whenever you're around or if, you know, weird electronical circumstances happen to you, that means that your frequency is too high and it's not a good thing so like there's that ascension that we should all be vibrating at a similar level right but if you go above this level then you are being pulled to the ethers and you don't want to be there because you're in human form so you want to make sure that you are doing the things that you need to do um, to align. So if you if you have like the electronical pulses that are going through you, um, definitely find grounding. Make sure that you get yourself a grounding wire of some sort. Um, you know, that's, that's definitely something that I would take into consideration is making sure that there's some sense of grounding uh, that you can do um, besides and I say besides um, walking on the grass barefoot, uh, you can look this up on YouTube. Look up grounding on YouTube, like um, healing grounding. Uh, there are copper wires and electronic pads and all these like interesting techniques that you can utilize. Um, I haven't necessarily, but um, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Um, a traumatic event. Uh, so traumatic events, you know, they really trigger the dissension symptoms and dissension meaning that like something you know something very traumatic could have happened it could be a loss of a loved one it could be you know a physical situation um abusive situation um but a, a huge traumatic event right and with that your your brain opens up in a different way and um, you see things in a different circumstance and you kind of feel like you're spiraling, spiraling out of control. So, um, you know, review and forgive and review and forgive again. Because, you know, the thing is, it's like a lot of us, we get stuck in those situations that we can't forgive and um, we can't forget. And I'm not saying for you to forget, I'm just saying forgive and that helps the forgetting. That, and I don't mean f helps the forgetting like you're meant to forget, but it helps you do your daily due diligence and your work and all the things that you need to do. So um, having a sense of impending doom or something big gonna happen, um, you really shouldn't just focus on those types of things when you feel like your mind is like kind of like working against you and you just find like you're waiting for like D-Day or something crazy, you have to take some breaths and it's okay. You know, you don't want to be afraid. And if it is, what's your worry gonna fix it? You know, acknowledge that, you know, every day could be your last. Um, or acknowledge that every day can be your first. It's important for us to really take on the energy of healing in these times. So, yeah. I hope this video has blessed and healed and resonated with you today on some level. Uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call at my shop. Uh, check out my website. I have a really great community going. Uh, it's www.demurelife.com and I will talk to you soon.